Magabla! Everybody, welcome <laughs> to Horror Month! <laughs> Magabla! Magabla! Welcome Mag to Kyofu no Sekai World of Horror. Work of uh, Horror. Work of Horror. Yes, the Tokyo Game Show 2017 build, which is the most recent build of the game. It is available for free on itch.io. This is World of Horror. Uh, how are you all enjoying your horror month? Well, go ahead. We'll how wait. Are you enjoying your horror month there, uh, right there, Matt? Oh, me? Oh, yeah, I guess yeah. I'm the only one that can answer. I know. Uh, uh, it's okay so far, you know. Yeah. It's been hectic, you know. Yeah, kids are back at school, you know. I tell you, uh, you know, yes. you gotta get up early every day. Uh, I tell you, I miss those <laughs> days of uh, uh, summer. That's what I'm gonna say right now. But I'll tell you, I do like the fall. It's my favorite season, uh, despite all the, uh, uh, you know, family obligations and whatnot. <laughs> that's uh, that's good to hear. Um, yeah, for sure, for sure. Not, not at all the same for me because I don't have family or obligations. So you know. Yeah, well, but you, you got obligations. You got work obligations. I do. I have. I have lots of work obligations. I got but those too. But people don't really want to hear about that. People want to watch a video game. What? Do you want to watch a video game to get it today? <laughs> yeah, sure. What is I this? Know, what, right? what, what is this one? What is World of so, Horror? Kyofu no Sekai. World of Horror is a. Well, it, it, it's almost better to experience more so than to uh, than to try and explain. But basically, it is a card base. It's almost a card game where you... Well, okay, so here we go. One of the core ideas behind World of Horror is modularity, allowing you to mix and match various card packs with different content. Simply select card packs you want to be included and continue by pressing the arrow bottom. Arrow on the bottom, not the arrow bottom. Press the arrow bottom. Press the uh, arrow yeah, button. so uh, there's just core uh, world of horror. Uh, there are some unlockables. Uh, we haven't really made any achievements just yet, so this is going to be pretty empty. And then there is the more students pack here. Uh, there All will be right. more packs, presumably uh, added into the future. But uh, yeah, so the idea here is well, we'll read through the intro here. City of Who. Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. <clears throat> Rope figures gathering in the woods by night. People disappearing. Disgusting creatures terrorizing the seaside. You know, the huge. <clears throat> Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening up again as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries all over the city and in the realms beyond. It's a losing battle, but maybe if you've got what it takes to postpone the inevitable, the end of the world is at hand. God, that's awesome. I know, right? I fucking <laughs> love this game. Uh, it is so weird and so, uh, like... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's got, it's got this ambience to it, and... The choice to make the entire game in two color, uh, mm. <laughs> with uh, with this weird sort of chip tuny background music, like there's so many it's, odd it's... decisions made that that just really end up selling the game. So the idea is, uh, you you play the game in episodes or mysteries, right? And the mysteries are selected by randomly drawing these cards, and then you basically you make decisions. It's like a choose your own adventure almost. Right. Uh, it's like this weird uh, Elder Gods choose your own adventure that is mixed up with Carmen San Diego. Oh, perfect. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's do let's do the demo here. So let's let's read the demo yeah. uh, uh, yes. thing here. Uh, how do you say his name? I don't want to 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 get uh, it wrong. Koji Tagawa. Koji Tagawa, class photographer, stays late at school to investigate the case of a missing friend. Little does he know, he's not alone in the building. Oh, let's, yeah. let's do it. Old God is awakening. That's, uh, that's your loading screen. <laughs> <laughs> we should do... Oh my god, you know what we should do? What should so, we do? We should do Maniac Mansion sometime. 
I would love to do Maniac Mansion. <laughs> I want to do Maniac Mansion 100%, but if we start doing Maniac Mansion, like, there's a ton of LucasArts games that I want to do, so. That's true. Okay, select our old god. Are you ready for this shit? I'm ready. Uh, we have, uh... <laughs> oh, you want to give that one a try? At your zath. Ath Yolaz. The Towering Eye, or. Gozu. Gozu, the, the thing forsaken by God, or dormant a dormant God. God. Let's 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 go for Gozu. I I like that guy. The Great Gozu? All the right. Great Gozu. Whoa. <clears throat> Banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Gozu has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through the glass. And the glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of a real nightmare. Mirror nice horror. Right? Yeah, that's Resting awesome. Resting increases your doom penalty. So each of these decisions that you make sort of change uh, the your victory conditions and, and all of the problems that you possibly have. What's like the other one here? Uh, ask oh, you lost. Did you see the little, the god appear in the middle for a second? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The Mad God favors astronomers and magicians, granting them its gift of power that unknowingly brings Ath Yolazeth's bloated body closer and closer to Earth's cosmic gift. Casting spells costs reason, increasing doom instead. Yep. Wow, that's awesome. So if you wanted to cast a spell that cost a re- your reason stat, and much like uh, I believe its roots lie very much in sort of the Call of Cthulhu type game, yeah, where uh, you can cast spells, but the spells require like your sanity. Uh, in that's this case, fair. you just raise your doom meter and uh, become and come closer and closer to uh, the the god. Perfect. And the last one is. Test your luck and try to summon a long-forgotten old god. Oh, shit, we need to do this. Yeah? Okay, let's let's test our luck. You want to just give me a number? This is out of ten, so there's... uh, Oh, wow. So select your circle. Ooh, okay. Uh, uh, That that one's awesome. This one? No, that one. That one right there. Okay, the really elaborate one. That's fine. Uh, Here are candle configurations. Three... Yeah, yeah. uh, that some sort of a candelabra, perhaps five around the edges, four, um, and a couple of candles that are not lit. Okay, let's go for the five. The five, this one here. Yeah. All right. That seems like right we're to really me. Guild. We're okay. An item. Um, uh, a an photograph of H.P. Lovecraft. It looks like. What is that? A pr- pr- yes, pr- a photograph of H.P. Lovecraft. Or what is this? Like slices of pizza. Pizza and glass. Broken glass. Yeah. Pizza and glass. Pizza and glass. Bloodstained glass, maybe. I don't know. Quite possibly. Let's get. Let's go for the picture of the uh, the OG himself. Photo of the man himself. (laughs) Yeah. Let's do it. All right. All right. Cool. Random effects. All right. Oh, you've attracted the attention of Lady of the Desert. Oh, yeah! Oh, boy. Well, this is our Elder God for this run through. Sweet. The Lady of the Desert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spine-chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. Nice. All right. Okay. Yeah, so this is the this is the tutorial section of the game, right? So you got your little photo here that tells you sort of the it gives you an idea of how the the, the theme of the story. Um, yeah, you knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? What's the worst thing that could happen? Yeah, so let's investigate this mystery. Let's do it. Uh, here is uh, here is our hero's stats. I forget he his has name. no weapon, yep. nothing in B or C. Uh, he has a strength of 7, dex of 5, perception of 8, knowledge of 7, charisma of 6, and fine of four perhaps 20 mental 20 <laughs> i've got a find of four you know no yeah. bigs no items 
no, no spells. spells. Oh, he, only like, the abolish ability right, spell. Right. Uh, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. No time. Has, oh. Actually, Seven time minutes. is just running. Yep, it sure uh, is. Lady of the Desert, unknown ability, impending doom, 0%. And uh, that just changes the options of the game. Well, by the way, if you do decide to play this game, and it's free, so you absolutely should, um, check out the other resolution options. Uh, there's some cool shit. Right now, we've got this sort of CRT monitor, uh, like, yeah. background or border but there's this great one which unfortunately just because it's a little bit too small to show on the screen uh has the one one to one so this is double size so one uh one by one pixel uh screen here that has like a full old-fashioned crt monitor on top of a like 386 computer with like a, bla a background in the back and which is totally the way we'd be playing it but this is the easiest way to see it yeah All this right. is the way the way for you guys to see this so on. what anyway, do we do so now we investigate this mystery. All right. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. To stop the tall woman with scissors, you need to bring her material form to our dimension with a ritual. You must draw an eldritch sigil and light holy candles. Some of the notebook's pages are missing. Your friend has surely left you some clues around the school. All right. All right. So what we can do is we can go to our storage, our locker, explore the school, we can perform the ritual. Just go straight to it, <laughs> uh, or we could check out some of the some of the other school lockers. All right, let's let's uh, let's explore the school, right? All right, we are investigating, investigating the gym, the gym. All right. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside stands an old anatomy model. Its heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Minus one <laughs> stamina. Resolve yep. this event. You feel something weird is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. Okay, so that chalk. was kind of a dud. All that we did was we ran into something that reduced our stamina. That's like that's fine, but yeah. So we explore the school again. Check out some school lockers. Let's check out some lockers. Why not? All right. Inside a locker, you find a baseball bat. Feeling you might need it later, you decide to pick it up. To equip an item, select in the upper right corner and then press the equip button. Boop. Nice. Wouldn't Look bat. at that. Look at that. So bat. 1d4 plus 2 damage. Let's equip that. Boom. This is this is a really cool game. I know, right? It's like yeah. playing it's like it's a little role playing game based on like card based events and stuff. Yeah, I this, love it. This is awesome. Let's uh, let's explore the school a little bit more. Classroom. So in the classroom. All right. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no way. Darkness. Oh jeez! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Your friend was uh. correct. You need to find Blessed Chalk to draw a sigil with. The sigil and holy candles will weaken the monster, giving you a chance to defeat it. Where could he have hidden them? All right. Lockers again? Lockers again, I guess. Yeah. You don't find anything Let's useful. Keep All right. Exploring the school. Library. Ah, here we go. the biology classroom. The room seemed empty at first until you switched the lights on. You gasp in horror, lying in a pool of blood is one of the teachers with a fruit knife in their hand. There's a jar of formaldehyde on the nearest table, mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea creature's skin. You step over the dead body and come closer. And then the voices start. Boro. Boro. <laughs> Boro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh God! So, yep, we are fighting uh, the forgotten Lazar. specimen. The forgotten specimen. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. So it has a minus two react and a seven power, three health. So this should be a pretty easy fight. Uh, we can attack. That's one d four plus two. We can use our unique ability. The last resort takes two hits from the enemy, and so we get hit twice. Yeah, uh, but. It, lowers their power by one, making some subsequent combat easier. So basically, we just take two hits. Right. <laughs> um, uh, or we can inspect, but I reckon we should just hit the fucker with a bat. Yeah, let's use that, that bat. Let's do it. Rolling now. You, Your last roll seven. All right. Okay. Yeah, we did some damage. Let's roll her again. Five. We oh, we got a five, so we didn't get a hit. All right. Yeah. So see our 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 like insanity score here is just dropping, right? 
Oh, oh this is bad. Oh, no. This is, this is bad. So this would be one of those reasons to use the unique ability to lower its its DC here. Yeah, maybe we should. It's... it's uh, you think so? Yeah, yeah. No, let's go for one more. One more try. No. No. Okay. Are, we, are we just going to take... Yeah, just take a couple hits. Its power level is lower. Hopefully... Yes! All right, one more go. Give it a shot. Bam! Wait, what's that? Pick it up. You lump found an flesh. item. <laughs> a lump of flesh! Yay! You found blessed chalk, which you can now be used to draw the sigil you need in a ritual. You copy the sigil as best as you can on the blackboard. Let's hope it's faithful enough. <laughs> uh, okay. We can redraw the sigil if we need to. Uh, we have taken a lot more damage than we want to. Let's check out this lump of flesh. It's a trinket. If we equip it, or we, yeah, if we use, discard it, we get five stamina back. We don't. We're, we're not okay. low on and, stamina. And a random effect. Oh, and a random effect. Okay, great. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, Oh right. yeah, and you can tell exactly what cards it came out. Like it's it's oh. in the base game. It is an item. It is a weird item, and it is common. It's common. All right. Yeah. It's pulsating slowly in your hand. Gross. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we gotta go find the the candles now. Yeah. Keep exploring the school. Go to the gaim. The gaim. Yeah. The corridor is flooded by a black sludge slowly coming from under the chemistry classroom's door. A nasty, moldy, wet smell is getting noticeable as you get closer. How are you going to get to the other side, mother frigger? We can take a detour, we can risk it, or uh, unfortunately we don't have an empty bottle or we could do something. If we risk it, I think we'll die. Quite possibly. We could take a lot of stamina damage if we're lucky. Um, your call. I feel like the stamina damage is something we might be able to tank. All right, let's risk it. Yeah? <clears throat> oh, we you get saw a the perception check. Nice. Nice. You saw the sudden movement near your ankle in time to jump from something trying to bite your leg. You make it safe to the other side. Plus five experience. It's the event. The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Mm. We need those holy candles, yo. Yeah. You enter the bathroom to wash your face with cold water. A sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors have opened on their own. Oh, shit! <laughs> do we just close the door, just or do just... we run? <laughs> close the door would be awesome. But I think we're going to have to fight something. Done. You get closer to the door, trying to close it, but something is blocking it. You look higher, only to notice a ghostly pale hand holding the door. Hmm. You back off from the toilet slowly as the door slowly opens. Sorry. A girl in a tattered uniform is standing there. Her head twists in an unnatural way as she makes a roaring, rattling noise. Door behind you slams shut. Uh-oh. Oh, oh <laughs> boy. The toilet ghost. I Anako. love... This is... Uh, uh, yeah. In, in Japan, actually, there is uh, a, uh, a toilet ghost named Hanako. Uh, who is famous? Nice. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we're we're about out of time. Do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to uh, deal with the toilet ghost next time? Are we gonna deal with the toilet ghost next time? Okay, everybody, that's it. That's it for today. So uh, tune in next week as we fight the toilet ghost. <laughs> Get ready uh, for the toilet ghost, guys. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I hope we'll you enjoyed this. I know I did. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Cool. We'll see you next week, everybody. And enjoy the and enjoy your horror month until we see you again next yeah. week. Yeah. Or Bye. tomorrow. Because or tomorrow. Hair TV shows all the time. Bye. You lost your confidence there at the end. I know. It's, it's, it's fine. Okay. Horror month!